So, Miss Dime, it's been a minute. How are you? I'm doing good, thank you. You look cute, you look cute. Thank you, thank you. I try, darling, I try. So, what is going on? It's been a couple years since we all sat down, and you had your Bloom Essentials. I remember that, the oils. So, how's that going? Well, I um, don't do the Bloom's Essentials anymore. I actually started a trucking business. So oh, big money, big money, okay. Yes, yeah, big money, big dime for sure. But <laughs> uh yeah, so I have my trucking business, my dispatching and freight brokerage as well. Oh, that is amazing. I know that trucking business is very lucrative. Okay, so are you giving the truck drivers any of the oils or anything? No, they're not getting any of the oils. <laughs> no. They're getting nothing, right? They're getting a paycheck. Correct. <laughs> So how is it with the new cast members? Like, what should we expect this season that we didn't see before? Mm, this season is definitely different. Um, I come out of character a few times this uh, season, and I'm just kind of, like, disappointed in myself, but it is what it is. Um, I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's nothing like the first season. I can tell you that it's a lot of fighting. It's a lot of backstabbing. A lot of he say, she say. A lot of drama. Let me find out y'all need to audition for the Bad Girls Club. Nah, this worse than the Bad Girls Club. We, it was, it was crazy. Really? Wow. So it was not a lot of business collaboration. I assume you can find your next person to co-partner with you on the trucking business in this group of ladies. I don't like them hoes, no. Mm-mm, I didn't. Not one? No. Uh, you always go us kind of like flying solo. You know, you just do you. Exactly. Yeah, so I get it. As long as you're being progressive, that's really that matters. Because that's the purpose of the show, you know, just to be progressive. So I, I love that you said, you know what? I'm not going to go down this avenue. Let's turn. Let's make a left on Fifth Street and go up, you know, payroll alley. Right. I'm the boss. So it's like I make sure shit happens and I got to conduct myself in a certain way. Yeah, I just got to watch the show and see what happens. It's a whole lot of shit going on that's just like unexplainable. Okay. Who's the least favorite person? Is it everybody? In my opinion? Yes. Um, I probably would say Lyric and Gigi is my least favorite. So Lyric is back. No, Lyric is new to the show. Oh, she's new. Okay, I'm thinking of the other girl that You're thinking has of the Lee. yes of Lily. Okay, yeah. okay. Oh, okay. I I can't wait to see. Yes. Yeah, so Lyric is like a fake ass coach, Stormy. Okay. Oh, you. We know how that went over. <laughs> With the real day. authentic Stormy. <laughs> she learned that day. <laughs> I'm telling you now. Oh, good grief, Charlie Brown. Okay, so June 3rd is going down. We TV, Beyond the Pole, Miss Dime, Boss Lady. Okay, just know Miss Dime has always been a boss, and that's not going to change. Thank you. I appreciate that. What am hoes that that need to hear this now? Just <laughs> <laughs> no, like she gives you boss energy, period. And once you meet her, it only takes a good five minutes and you like, okay, I'm not in charge here. Who's in charge of the girls? Dime, big dime. <laughs> All right, we out. Ladies, ladies, ladies. So now we are here with the incredible Angel Cake to my left, the amazing Gigi to my right. Gigi McGuire, Miss Show Me The Money. Hi. Hello, people. <laughs> Angel K is just so soft with few words. Yes, yeah, so I'm getting warmed up. I'm getting it, you know, I'm getting it moisturized and <laughs> ready to go. Uh-oh. You got to be <laughs> careful with those words around here now. <laughs> so beyond the poll, June 3rd, We TV. We are so excited because that is the premiere night, not only for television, but if you are in Atlanta, Georgia, then you've probably seen these girls' social medias, which is at Gigi McGuire, G-I-G-I-M-A-G-U-I-R-E. And Angel Cake, 
and K-A-K-E, not C, but K. Okay, now I'm going to talk to the newbie for this show, but not new to the game. Because Gigi, now Gigi, what happened when you met all the ladies and you were like, oh, this is going to be amazing? Girl, bye. That is not how it went down, honey. I'm going to get this mic. <laughs> First of all, I've known Angel Cake longer than any other cast member. We started at Magic City in, around the same time back in 05. Okay. So I've known her since then, and it's always been, right, love and respect and, you know, just pure everything between me and her. The energy and the chemistry has always been love. So I was excited to see her on season one, which is one of the reasons that I was in tune with the show, because I was supporting my friend. Um, also, the fact that it was an Atlanta show about strippers. Like, how can you not want to watch that? Um, but with the rest of the cast, um, yeah. Ooh, not so much. <sighs> a whole lot of peaches in Atlanta, but not a lot of cream, okay? <laughs> Um, yeah, I, for the most part, everybody is cool there. You know, there is a, a certain person I just don't get along with. And, you know, we're like water and oil. We would just never mix. However, um, there is a level of respect that I personally will not cross because that's just not in my character, um, for one. For two, you know, I am a very, like, mellow, calm, just, you know, go with the flow type of person. And I'm a chemistry and energy reader. And that person I just don't mix with. Everybody else, it's all love. And I enjoyed every single moment, good and bad, that I had with the entire cast. So nobody had to catch a GGB down. Oh, girl, could you say to me? Do I look like I want to fight? Girl? Okay, okay. Uh-uh. Sure. Mm -mm. sure. No, we ain't snatching out no braids. We ain't scratching up my Cartiers. <laughs> and we ain't motherfucking getting none of no scratches on this pretty ass face. You know, the lips is new. We need to keep them safe. And yeah. Fight where? I call the cops first. Excuse oh, me. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love it. <laughs> so Angel, now were you like more of the motherly type to everyone, or the stormy type to everyone, or just let me just worry about starting my new business and get this off the ground? Well, I originally started as I originally started as Lord, just take me through this because I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to figure out life, and then somehow I became a therapist and so i really wasn't ready for that but you know what sometimes what you don't see in yourself other people see right so i was greatly like accepting that new role but i can yeah. see that in you from three years ago when we interviewed i can see them bringing that inner okay you guys let's have peace you know oh, yes, yes. It was definitely and you know what? None of us really needed coaches because we've all been in the game so long that I don't think she could take advice from me. I, like, you know, and I vice versa because we've all had a taste of every type of lifestyle oh, yeah. from being broke to being a girlfriend, you know, different little trinkets of different, you know, times in our life. Mm -hmm. So we've learned a lot from each other. And a lot of things that what you guys don't know is we really don't know each other's full story. Right. You know, because we all right. haven't filmed together. So I don't know the details of Gigi's story. Gigi doesn't know the exact details of mine, which is why you better watch the reunion because that's where the drama. That's I'm, a, I'm oh. uh, yes, I'm clenching my pearls like Gigi says. I'm a little. <laughs> Did you guys do it together or um, virtually, the reunion show? Oh, no, no, we're going to have oh, it. Oh. And, and oh, yes, and oh, none of us right. know each other's story. We only know like so she, the scenes that we did together, the, the meetups and stuff. Yes. That now was that mainly due to COVID, or was it just due to no, for the just, safety of everybody? No, no, no. Just in general, like I don't like she. What she's trying to say is, you know, her storyline and everything that was happening personally with her and what she had going on. Right. The rest of us don't know. We all have to. Work right. Like now. my personal business, she doesn't know uh, any okay. of it. She only knows when we hang out right. socially. Okay. So, okay. But yeah, so I've known all these ladies. It, it's kind of like when you invite two friends that are not friends and it all goes bad, you're like, shit, when is this going to so, stop? So times two by, by two and make exactly. eight. Exactly. make eight. Because Ooh. it's nine of us all together. So yes. <laughs> when you invite everybody and yeah, it's, sometimes wow. it can be a little bit chaotic. So there was no time at any point where everyone filmed together? Yeah. Oh, there yes. was. And that's a where couple it of times. Arrive. So to speak, or no? 
Yeah, it was just drama, and I love it because I don't even watch TV, and I was so looking forward to filming because I don't have drama. So this was like 10 times. I was like, oh, my gosh, this is so fun. And I would just watch them because they are wild. When I'm talking about wild, wild, this is like Jerry Springer, Love and Hip Hop, Atlanta Housewives. I'm talking about this. It's wild. It's wild. We're going to take it back to... uh, Right. uh, Jenny Jones and and Ricky Lake. (laughs) Okay. I am too excited. I'm so excited. So So tell me about the fashions. Now, who was coming with the fashions the hardest? This one. Well, I love clothes. (laughs) (laughs) This one. Everybody does have their own style. I can say um, Angel is very fashionista, has always been very fashionista. She's always been like that muse type of, you know, if you can't figure out what to wear, you go look at her Instagram. Like, let me see what Angel had on last week. Let me see if I can recreate some of these looks she be serving. Um, Lyric lyric is, um, I would say she's the most daring. She's the the monochronic red from the wig to the feet to the full Uh fit with her diamonds glistening, you know. um, She's she's very she's very Atlanta Atlanta girl okay um I would say Virgo is very fun with her um, choice of attire and the way she throws her outfits together and me um, I just try to keep it classy you know I'm the OG of the crew um, yeah I'm the OG of the crew I'm I'm like the oldest and I am just like very like well reserved and classy and collected when it comes to you know how I choose to serve it but I'm definitely gonna put these titties on my chin okay. Okay, and serve you a little bit of that almost every day. Okay. Now, what part of Philly are you from? I'm from Mount Airy. Oh, are you from yeah. Mount Airy? Yes, I'm from Mount Airy, like Stitton Avenue, Upswood Street area. I'm yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I went to Franklin Learning it. Center. Uh, I was a smart kid, so I went to a very good high school. And um, I love Philly, but I will never live there again. You know, I lived in Philly for three years, the year of the snowstorm. 96. Yes. My and daughter is a blizzard so baby. And that snowstorm got me pregnant. Melted. You left. I was at the that, airport. 31 inches. 31 inches. 31 inches and of I snow. I didn't know you weren't supposed to, like, park on the, and they, the street. And they, and they plowed like, your car. my car? They, they plowed snow on the top of it. You had to wait for the snow to melt for your car to And get. when it melted, I was at the airport straight <laughs> to L.A. I was like, I am never, I'm Listen, not. Listen, I was... Me and my daughter's you father, making listen, me and my daughter's father were locked in a hotel. We were stuck at a hotel for three days, and ten months later, I had a little blizzard baby. Wow. Yes, my daughter was conceived in that Y'all blizzard. Definitely didn't no, expect that to happen when you checked them out. No. Hmm. No one could go anywhere. Yeah, we got out. It took us three days. Oh, we were stuck for three days. After the blizzard baby was born, then how long did you stay in? Oh, 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 no, no, no. I left Philly when she was eight. Oh, you still standing yeah. around? You yeah. a trooper. I was yeah. like, I'm not doing this ever, ever. It's scary when you just can't get out your own door. Yeah. I've never. I'm well, from Los I Angeles, there, so I'm, I'm born and raised. And she's from DC, so she's. I'm from DC, and I'm not going back to DC. Just so you know, I do like go go, but I do not want to go back mm-hmm. and fight. <laughs> so what makes you guys love Atlanta so much? Why do you think all these girls mesh together? What is the one thing you would say besides? Being former strippers that everyone has in common. Hmm. Oh, duh. We all have the same drive in the... Yes, you already know. We go-getters. Like, we have that the get money mentality. We out here starting businesses. We out here being entrepreneurs. We out here getting degrees and deeds and handing out business. We are good mothers, you know. We, we, we got that whole... You know, stand strong, be a proud black woman thing going on. Okay. I love it. I love it. And we sometimes come together and, you know, we kind of, we try. Now, here's the, the word. We try to come together and share our, you know, our great spirits of this entrepreneurship with each other. It didn't work out, but... It was really amazing, and all of the girls do have something different to bring. So, uh, in in business wise, like Empress, she just was on here, and I can't be a handy lady, um, and I can't rap, but she can. <laughs> but Empress can do it all. So you know, everybody has. Yes, exactly. Yes. And we're all continuing to evolve. So last season, I was, you know, had an online store, and then that didn't work out. And, um, 
you know, when you are a stripper, let me let me make sure that I that I tell all strippers who are watching um, is that, you know, anytime you open up a business, you've got to dedicate time. And a lot of us think all we got to do is throw some money into a business and it's going to blossom. Exactly. And so it is. Time. So then, you know, that's what happened to me. I kind of just always took money and threw it in threw it in different businesses and they never worked out because I didn't put my time in. Into focusing. What was the one thing you think that you learned? What was the one thing you learned during COVID? When was the stripper clubs in Atlanta ever on lockdown? Close Two weeks, six weeks. Oh, six weeks. Yeah. Okay. Um, one thing I learned during COVID is that motherfuckers is nasty. Oh my God. <laughs> and all of this shit that's that's going on and washing hands and sanitizing and Lysol wipes and sprays and disinfect. We should have been doing that. And that's what I was thinking. But I feel like everybody should have been doing it. And and all of these protocols and you know some of these things we need to keep. We should have been had in play. So that's what I learned. I was like, why do they keep saying, like, you, I always wash my hands. And then like, I've been carrying goddamn sanitizer with me everywhere I go. Now, all of a sudden, we can't find no sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> what was the one thing that you learned? Okay, so. COVID, the one thing that you're like, you know what? So I, during COVID, I had a very interesting time because I kind of changed my whole thought because I did stop I danced during COVID and I was like so scared to dance I was like okay I don't think I'm gonna make it much longer in here because I'm sweating and I don't want to touch people and I don't want them to touch me so during COVID I was just you know I had I had a real big change of heart and I realized at that moment that all the things we think we need we really don't need them and so I kind of like dug into my old clothes and and start wearing my own hair I didn't I forgot that I even had hair because I was just so used and your to hair is beautiful. I was so used to getting buying buying I got to go to the you don't need half of the stuff and so since I kind of have understood that it's my my value uh, my value of who I am and and all the things that I have done or you know like my life experience is good and bad especially the strip club always gives you you know, it puts people in your life, and you can't think of it as a bad thing. You know, you it, you embrace it, and you see how much you'll grow from it, and um, different people you'll meet. Um, so, you know, the strip club does have a, a big negative in my eyes. I, I have a lot of negative things to say about it. However, um, you know, it's given us so many great opportunities. Yeah, that's it. And the whole thing from the whole experience is that you're growing and moving forward yeah. and not moving backwards. Yeah. So as long as you're being progressive and everybody's idea of progressing is not at the same pace, mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. you do something that doesn't work, okay. That doesn't mean you're not meant to be an entrepreneur. That means that didn't work. Then you find something that works. And it takes some growing up, falling down, jumping up, falling down. The most important thing is that you jump back up and get back in the race. That's it. Thursday night, we TV, June 3rd. I'm excited. Who came with the fitness, though? Who came with the fitness? Y'all, you guys look amazing, so you have to have some type of routine. Exercise. I was fasting from exercise. I was like, you know what? I'm going to see how I feel when I don't exercise. And I'm just starting to get back into it. So, so, um, I am a pole girl. So, like types of dancers. And everybody thinks that all strippers do pole tricks, and that's not the case. Um, I just so happen to be one of the dancers, one, the dancer that does the pole tricks. And um, my Virgo is um, my right hand. That's my pole partner. We were in the, a group before called the Snack Pack. And um, not to give too much of a spoiler, but the Snack Pack makes a little one-two situation happen during the season. So, you'll see us on the pole actually, um, me, even Virgo, and I'm not going to give up too much, but um, I truly believe from experience that pole dancing is the best form of fitness for a woman. Um, when I left Magic City and I retired and had my last dance back in 2011, um, I opened up my dance uh, studio, Pole Fanatics, in which I taught pole dancing as a form of fitness for women of all walks of life, um, you know, all ages, and it is a absolutely the best form of fitness, in my opinion. 
So that would be where the fitness comes in this season would be us on the pole. I love it. But our but our pole tricks and our and our sit ups and our splits and everything. Couple of trainers and a couple of gyms, and I seen that nobody people were touching the weights after each other and not oh, sanitizing. Yeah. And the sanitizer was like a mile away, and so I was like, you know what, I can't come That's because we had to do COVID tests twice a week, so I couldn't afford to catch COVID oh, yeah. because then I wouldn't be okay. able to work. So okay. yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's the basket we're going to be really passing, too. Yeah. Even if you got your vaccination side, so we're going to be passing the basket around. Thank you, ladies, so much. And we are wrapping this interview. Hope you guys learn a lot more than you have learned about these ladies on the show. And that's why we do interviews, so people can know you and not just what they see. But after they see the show, I don't know. We might have to regroup again. Yeah, and absolutely. Have absolutely. Mm-hmm. We should do it weekly, actually. I cannot wait. Oh, like a weekly rap, uh, yeah. recap? Yes. That'll be fire. Then you can explain. What That'll happened. be fire. Weekly yeah. recaps. Every week, every week you're going to be like, wow. Conversations I'm beyond the pole. Believe that that just happened. I'm ready to see what's happening. In the, I'm ready to be wild because I'm I don't see if I, I don't can get know. some sneak previews. See, we went to the re- I've, I've been to the reunion, so I didn't like everyone after we went to the reunion. So... Unfortunately, this is going to be a layer of drama that's going to be added for next season. So, yeah, there will be a next season. <laughs> All right, we out. But let me add that when Angel Cake said she went to the reunion, she meant she's been to the reunion before. There has not been a reunion shot for this season yet. So, she's been to the reunion before. There has not been one shot yet for this season that has yet to be um, seen by anyone. So we'll keep you posted on that progress.